really like you guys a lot, you know. <laughs> I need to drink more champagne for this. Teaching rocks think we are a mistake. What? <laughs> Dude, you dummy when you get bullied. No bully. No bully. I'm not. It was just actuated. Wow. I don't know how I feel about that sentiment. Oh, the dryad's here. Oh, yeah, of course. The dryad's here. Check cables and power cycle. Yeah, classic. House, yeah. It's never lupus, by the way. House. Most rocks are silicone. Oh, really? I guess, yeah, I guess that makes sense. My rocks are still a bone! Your hat is gray? No, you're gray. I'm gonna come over there and gray you. I'm gonna tidy your radiator and grape your ass. <laughs> you wanna get graped? Keep fucking around! I'll grape you so hard. You even know that uh, Why Does Kids You Know skit? Otherwise, that sounds really weird. Uh, my inventory is so badly organized, I don't know if I have any iron. He's the grapist. What? What is the big deal? He's the grapist. <laughs> I don't see a problem with that. <laughs> He's a serial grapist. <laughs> oh, man. Why does you know are super good? Okay. I I'm glad other people actually know it. I don't look like a fucking weirdo talking about getting graped. God, grape me, daddy. Grape me harder. I'm going to come over there and I'm going to grape you. Jesus Christ. I'm going to grape you so hard. Your mom is going to feel it. I'm going to grape you in the mouth. <laughs> oh, man. See, these are things I probably shouldn't laugh at. I don't have any iron. Oh, I do. How many hours do you have in Terraria? Uh, enough hours to protect my virginity. I'm saving for someone who really cares about me. Uh, like the Dryad? <laughs> look. Look. Actually, you know what? No, I didn't have early access. Or did I have early access? No, I didn't have early access to these. Look, I got, I got like 12 hours of the access to 1.4, so you guys can just shove whatever I'm a cool Terraria gamer right up your ass, okay? I need a sawmill, which I need iron bars for, for, y'all coming back now, you hear? 1.1 crew rise up. Oh my God. There it is. And porn monitor? They're all porn monitors. <laughs> what do you guys do with your internet? It was like Googling porn when I was like <laughs> 10. <laughs> no, wait, when did I get a computer? I think 12. Oh my god, I remember being on this one website. Okay, so my cousin came over to my house, all right, and he lived in Cali. And so, but we would visit, he would visit like uh, once a year when we were younger. And his, uh, his mom and his dad, my uncle, would come over. And we were on my computer at like 12 on the internet, and everyone was there, like, so like we were like in this room in the in the in like this, it, it was like a not a bedroom. Man, what the what the hell was that room? It like led into the garage. It was like a workroom almost, but it turned into a bedroom. It was my bedroom? No, yeah, it was my it was my. I didn't have I didn't have a door in my bedroom. Yeah. So but and then the computer was there, so everybody can come into my room and work on and be on the computer whenever they wanted, basically. So I didn't actually have my own room. And we were on that computer, and we lit. And he was like, he was like two years older than me, so he he gets on the computer and he just immediately goes to a porn website, right? And, <laughs> and it's not a big deal because the, the the adults are like six feet away, seven feet away. They're sitting in the living room, just a little while away, and and, and we're like just quickly flipping through it. But we get one of those ads that you can't close, <laughs> and and then we. Were freaking out dude because his dad like literally stands up from the table and then yeah and then like the audio starts going and he's walking over to see what the fuck we're looking at i'm like 12 he's like 14 and we were like pissing ourselves trying to close this ad and he's sitting on the chair and i'm standing next to him and i'm just like see you dog fuck off <laughs> bye <laughs> 
I don't remember. I think he managed to close it before his dad saw. Or, I mean, I think his dad didn't give a shit that his son was looking at porn, basically, at 14. Like, that's what a 14-year-old does, you know? Like, I, and I was just like, deuces. I'm outie. <laughs> Happy New Year, Dave. That was a random memory. It was, so, we had one of those Macs. It was the first computer we had. It was one of the Macs that was like the monitor and computer in one thing. It was like a Mac. I can't remember what it was, what it's called, but... <laughs> that, was a, that was a really funny memory. I don't, I don't know if anyone else has been like super close to, uh, to getting caught looking at Pran. What is this? Oh, no. Yes! This, literally this computer. So, okay, I, I had this computer, yeah? And my favorite game was StarCraft. Uh, StarCraft and StarCraft Brood War. And I would uh, play StarCraft Brood War on Battle.net. But I was like one of ten. I don't know, probably more than that. People who played StarCraft uh, Brood War on a fucking Mac. So I would always have trouble connecting. Like, okay, no, I could connect to games fine. But I couldn't host my own game because nobody could connect to it for whatever reason. Maybe it was my internet. But as a kid, I was like, it's got this goddamn Mac that I have. That's the problem, right? That and that's the issue. Oh man, I remember I remember getting on the internet and be like, beep boop 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 boo is that the dial up noise. Getting the dial up noise and getting there. It, it was apparently a pretty common thing to have, was it? Yeah, I mean it was uh it was an easy thing to to get, I guess. Like I just remember my mom bringing it home and being like and like it was like the biggest uh <laughs> you're great. <laughs> it was like the biggest deal to my family. And I remember having to fight my three sisters to get on the computer to play. And, and then I, I mean, I'm like, this is how like, I met all my friends. This is like the formative experiences I had. Freaking playing, uh. Oh man, what are the cheats on StarCraft? Che StarCraft? It was like, uh. No, there is no sheep. There is no wall. There is no something. And then power overwhelming for immortality. There is no cow level. There is no cow level. Uh, power overwhelming is the defense, is the immortality one. Yeah, you guys couldn't die. Oh yeah, <laughs> Operation C. Is it Qual? It was Operation something. My PC is dummy thick and the sound of it booting keeps alerting my parents. <laughs> what, Colonel? <laughs> All your base are belong to us? Is that what, was that what a command? It was what, like one of them was to skip the game. There, I think there is, or skip the levels. Like no, there is no cow level. Something like that, skip. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we died to a clown again, Peg Legos Wild. Yeah, then there's, there's like, uh, man, what was the one for No Fog of War? The computer looks like I'm on TV. It was actually a pretty decent computer, honestly, for like what it was. It was like, it worked really well. I like never got a virus. I downloaded all kinds of shit on LimeWire. Like literally all kinds of shit. Like stuff that a 14 year old should not be looking at. Uh, <laughs> I downloaded all kinds of music. I, uh, I made my first uh, AMV on uh, using the Mac movie editor. I made, uh, I think I made like Naruto. No, 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 it was Naruto. Damn it, it was like um, Trigun or something like that. No, I'm not gonna elaborate because it was some shit you should not have looked at. I don't even. I don't even think. I don't want to talk about it. War ain't what it used to be. <laughs> Dude, LimeWire was so good, but no, LimeWire was good for me because I was on a Mac, dog. Like I could never. You would never legally down. You wouldn't. You wouldn't steal a car. Yeah, I fucking would if I could download. A, if you could have a car and I could have a car and like, you don't lose anything. Shit, yeah, I would download a car. What a stupid ad. What a dumb ad. What dumbass wrote that ad? Who, who's like, no, I wouldn't share a car for free. Yeah, you would. It's, it, you give a car for me, you get to keep a car. There's like no downside for anybody. I don't know who wrote that ad. Actually, that ad and then the, um, this is your brain on drugs ad. That formative experiences for me. Yeah, out of touch corporate executive worked that ad. It was, it was like, this is your brain on drugs. <laughs> and I was like, dude, that sounds great. <laughs> I want that. Fuck, fuck my brain. My brain sucks. <laughs> Hit my brain. And that chick who was doing the brain thing was hot too. Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> I threw a grenade. Oh, that worked out actually. Do, do. So yeah, that's there's my childhood chat. Uh, so I, I joined a, uh, a clan in uh, StarCraft that was called uh, USMC. Uncle Sam's Misguided Children. And me as a 12, like a tw like, like some of y'all doing it right now. Me as like a uh, 13, 14 year old is like, you know, talking to these adult guys about all kinds of stuff. And my mom would get mad at me sometimes. Like, what are you talking to these people? What are they saying? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Happy New Year, Fortune's Frown. How you doing? It's good to see you. It was a great acronym. Yeah, well, it, those guys were cool. I mean, they were, at least they would tolerate me, you know, as a kid. You wouldn't use exploits to do a car using item for his podcast. Uh, co yeah, company loses no money at all. 
Because, I mean, as a 12-year-old, you don't have money to buy video games. Who gives a crap? So I remember being on uh, Gamer Revolution, or you could call it Game Evolution, because it was this, it's the same spelling, and going to their demo page, and I would just download demos all day long. I would download a demo, try a demo, download a demo, try a demo, download a demo, try a demo, because I, di I didn't have LimeWare before that. I only discovered LimeWare after, and then I would just play demos all the time, because I, there was no free-to-play games, so not, that wasn't a thing. You didn't really download games from the internet, you got them on a CD. But, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I had CDs. I didn't really use floppy disks very much. I, did, I used floppy disks in school, but I never used floppy disks, like, personally. Pentium 133. See, I don't remember. I think the oldest computer I used was, like, some old guys. I, getting him in the cereal box? For real? Do, do, boo, boo, boo. All right, some more, some more champagne. Do the same thing. Did Max ever get a computer? Cereal box games? I don't remember getting any cereal box games. Holy crap, I have so much money. Holy shit, I have so much money here. Uh, what are we doing? Let's go over to the jungle. We're, we're pretty decked out. We can almost do an underground area. Maybe we should bomb down. Yeah, let's bomb down, actually. And then that'll make things cheaper for a little bit. You still have your Pikachu Tomagotchi? I think Tomagotchi's are pretty, still pretty rad, honestly. My, my, my school was all Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh was the shit, dude. We used to play Yu-Gi-Oh and not use the summoning rules. So like that one kid who had the fucking blue eyes white dragon, he would just play it out of his hand every time. And it was like so stupid. And then I would play Fissure and he'd get mad at me. He'd be like, no, it's the, it's, you have to, ha it has to, there has to be multiple mobs. Uh, it has to be multiple monsters because it says the li less attack, least attack monster. Well, the least attack monster was your fucking blue eyes, bro. Cause you only have one mob on the screen. <laughs> and, then, and then we would get into fights about that. And that, that would be it. And then actually, you know, in uh, I remember there was like this one super or fairly like not a rich kid, but he was richer. He actually had a really good deck, like a competitive deck. And I built my deck around beating his deck. And I remember getting to an argument with him about the rules, because it was like there was the one where the the one trap that when an enemy summons, you can destroy it. God, I can't remember what it was like. Black hole? Nah, nah. Black hole is when it kills everybody. I ended up just like running a monster removal deck in middle school because trap hole. Thank you. Uh, yeah, trap hole. Yeah, oh, and then yeah, and then uh, and then, yeah, and then man eater bug. Yeah, man eater bug. What does man eater bug do again? When it flips, it kills something, or something like that. Dude, people would get so mad at me because of my monster removal deck. Like I wouldn't run any monsters. <laughs> I've just run all monster. I would just have three fissures, three trap holes, three black holes. <laughs> like I just, I would just be going ham. I just wouldn't play anything. I just kill everybody's monsters. Yeah, if it so if someone attacks it on the defense, it flips and kills the monster. It still dies, but it's oh my god! Yeah, Toon World was a great play. The first Yu-Gi-Oh tournament I was in, I learned about Toon World. The Toon World had just come out when I activate my Pot of Greed and draw two cards. Uh, I, I think that was a, when I was in tournament play. Uh, uh, Pot of Greed was not allowed. Yeah, I was, uh, you know, but before I knew what a control deck was, I was running a control deck recluse. And then I started, I, I started looking at Magic a little bit, and I was like, man, fuck blue decks, <laughs> they suck. Uh, but actually, the uh, the last deck I started running was an evolution deck. It was a uh, wind based, dragon based evolution deck, and I would play the um, the wind. The card, the wind land card that made it so that all wind based monsters get 400 damage, 700 damage added to them. And, and people stopped playing with me. They literally start refu they started refusing games with me in Yu Gi Oh! because I had the, the blue dragon deck. Because what I did is I, I just like went online, I saved up money, went online, and I bought a specific, a couple of specific cards to make the game like broken. <laughs> Basically. You know, and you know, yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> I don't even know how I actually. When I ended up getting, I think I just like begged my mom for like fifteen dollars or something like that to do it. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Oh no, it was reasonable to hate the player in that case because that evolution deck was bullshit. Though there was any time I had, I ran into a control deck, I usually lost. So because they would remove my uh, level three dragon, or whatever it was. When the Egyptian cards are, I stopped playing. Uh... Damn, I stopped playing like two thousand seven or two thousand six. This way, Harry Potter today, MTG Blue Decks. You're on Thin Ice Factor. <laughs> what did we say about hot Harry Potter yesterday? It was like, um, there's like slavery, everyone's chill with it or something like that. What were we talking about? 
What's your base like? Um, it's like like an inch and a half thick. It's, full, it's got a lot of nerve endings. What's your base like? It's a weird question. You can go to my OnlyFans if you want to see my base. <laughs> it's not big, all right? I'm, I'm average for United States. Whoopie cushion? Rip. What? what? Wait, what did you... What, oh, oh, did you mean my Terraria base? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I thought you were asking about my... Uh, cut, uncut? <laughs> cut, all right? I didn't ask for it, but it's America, all right? All right? I always hear about the desensitivity, but I tell you what, I'll still bust my nut in three seconds. <laughs> N never been a problem for me, okay? Oh. I'm the fastest. I'm the fastest raw in the West. Oh, uh, but it's but it's not what you think. Got you fast, <laughs> especially when she. Oh fuck me! All right, never mind. It was in the Yu-Gi-Oh, though. I do remember l liking to look at the artworks for a friend showing. Yeah, that was cool artwork. I mean, I only liked it because my friends were into it, really. It was sort of like a way to fit in. That was fine. Oh, but... People would steal each other's cards all the time. It was like really bad. Who knows faster, cut or uncut? I don't know, dog. You, you either have one experience or the other. Like, you don't have both. Cards from eBay. Yeah, yeah, to make a dinosaur deck? Yeah. Oh, cool. He won a tournament? Oh, that's cool, man. I, I, uh, I think I got like seventh place. In the tournament that I entered in, it was my first tournament. I never went back. I had a lot of fun though. Like I, I got to see a lot of new decks. <laughs> I got to see a lot of decks. There's so many decks in my face. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round big in your face, I get sprung like a pickup truck. That's not true. You cut as an adult. Oh, can you? Who the fuck it's called as a cut as an adult? That sounds bad. Don't do that. Big deck, small decks, doesn't matter. I mean, too big, you're gonna hurt yourself. My cousin sold my whole deck of holographics. That's when I stopped playing. Yeah, that sucks, man. So I actually lost my dragon deck because I left my backpack at lunch one day. And they they took nothing out of my backpack except for my deck. And it was just all gone. And I, was, I just never got back into the year after that. Do, do, do. Do do. What? Oh, oh, hello, darkness. My old friend. Oops. Boo doo boo boo. A bar mitzvah circumcision? No, man. That's messed up. Yeah, yeah. That's all card games, dude. As a kid, I fell for the trap of card games, but as an adult, I realize it's all I got. Freaking. Trap. It's a trap card. What the, who the, what the fuck is happening? You can regrow your foreskin? Let me try it out. Dude. Use your shield to completely collect it? Oh, okay. <laughs> card game's a trap? I think so. I mean, you're just like... I don't know. There's so much money to actually be competitive. <laughs> Maybe you're getting trolled? I didn't even see what you're talking about. Dude, MTG rotate sets and, and and cards do have value. I don't know. I guess if you if you're getting get into med, uh, card trading games, you just know what you're getting into. Oh my god, we're going through a spider biome. That is not good. That, I mean, right? That's what they do, Master Icus. Ooh, spider! They'll just be like, all oh, those cards you bought, they're not good anymore. That's how I feel about Pot of Greed and um, I think Black Hole got banned in you at one point. Like they bans all kinds of stuff. Doo -doo -doo. Pokemon Weekend Twitch? Nah. Okay. I'm dumb. I thought I had Rocket Boots for some reason. Doo -doo. Is there a Happy New Year? Doo -doo. Uh, I've lost once. Actually, Troopa. I, I literally 10 minutes before dying to a trap chest, I was like, ha ha ha, dummies fall for a trap chest. Ha 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 ha. And then I died. So... Yeah. <laughs> Even the best of us fall for the trap chests, all right? We're just moving too fast. Now, if you're in this chat, it's New Year, okay? That's all there is to it. So, at least Warhammer is not like 
so competitive. It can be, but a lot of times it's therapeutic to actually paint your shit. You know? Like to work with it and stuff like that. To do it, to like, you, to be there with it. Like, I think it's a bit different. Oh, I've, I've worked with this chest already. Than Warhammer. Like, there's like a set, you know? Better paint with fecal matter. <laughs> it's a cathartic thing. Yo, what's up, Papa? How you doing, dog? Oh, shit. It's... Hey, sometimes it's hard to tell because the only thing that spawns is one TNT off to, on the side. Bullshit. <laughs> it does not. I... Oh! I always see... Oh! No. I... I'm scared. Uh, yeah, if y'all know Hobo, he's another speedrunner. He does, uh, raw race speedruns. And he also does, uh... He's a premier Stardew Valley speedrunner on Twitch. So if y'all are interested in that, he's pretty great. I, I, he's got great commentary, too. I like him a lot. He's a bit more chill than me. Uh, <laughs> I think everybody on Twitch is a bit more chill than me, but... You'll, you'll definitely like his stream, so... One of my homies. I still want to do that 2P run together, Javi. Javi. Javi boy! Yeah, yeah. Do, do, do. We've, like, explored all of this already. What was I coming down here for? There's, like, a reason. 